So I honestly think that content creation is just like its own big workforce. And I do believe that it's going to grow even larger in the coming years because social media is becoming so big now. And it's one of those things that people have become relied on, like for their job, um, for money, um, just to keep in connection with other people. So there's nothing wrong with wanting to be a content creator. There's nothing to be, you know, feel bad about because you want to do that and make it full time for you. And of course, you shouldn't allow people to make you feel bad about it because this is a different type of platform. And the way social media is made that people can just put whatever they want to put out there. Now, of course, I don't agree with all that, but it is a space where people can create their own brands, create their own things, and they can actually live off of that. So I have no issue there. I think when it comes to wanting to create content, that the approach has to be different and the mindset has to be different, especially when you're trying to start from scratch. And if you don't have like no big famous name or anything like that, that you really have to work to build your audience and get your numbers up. And of course, I'm learning that slowly because I have my own issues with trying to upload content, staying consistent and actually just being myself and just putting myself out there. And of course, we can say that's easy because we're not in front of a crowd or anything. You just in front of a computer or a camera, you just press the record button. But when you just actually think about it and you sit in front of it and start pressing that record button and actually start to talk, then your thoughts just start to race and be like, man, what if they don't agree? What if they say this and that? Now, of course, I have received a couple negative comments. And most of that really just due to um, people not understanding certain things. Um, I can say that about, you know, when I post a video about me being a single mom, telling my testimony, of course, I expected to receive somewhat some negativity on that. But I also had to understand that when you don't go through certain things and we have not experienced certain things, you tend to talk out of turn or you tend to talk from a lack of uh, a lack of knowledge. But I know that comes with it. So it shouldn't be anything to discourage anybody for trying. And for me, it's that I want to just keep putting myself out there, keep putting my voice, because that's one of the main things for me creating content is that I want to just put my voice out there. I want to be authentic in doing it. And I don't want to feel like I have to be somebody else, because I think that's also another thing that I see on here is that sometimes I feel like people put on a persona that they put on this show for what people think that other people want or they think their audience want and they feel like if they keep going in that direction that they'll make all the money they can make and they can do all these different things now granted some people have succeeded at that but when i think about the aftermath of certain i guess certain youtube scandals and things that have happened that man i was like you know if they have just started off genuine and maybe start off with something they wanted to do and kept at it or come up with a different tactic, then maybe they don't have to go through all those crazy things and jumping through hoops and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to keep up with everything, but certain things that, you know, it catch my eye and I choose to just learn from it. And also that when you do choose to do this, that it should be done from a place of, I would say like a good place of confidence. For me, just a place of faith. I say that and not from a place of fear, because when you just allow fear to just overcome you, then you won't do what you got to do. And the channel is going to suffer. And that's a hard lesson that I learned now, because I started back in 2018 and I was not consistent like I need to be, because my reason was, well, first, I started the channel because I wanted to build an audience because I was writing, getting to write my book, self-publishing. So I think that was like a wise thing to do. But my personal life got in the way and I started to just be, you know, not consistent with it, not putting my best out there and just, you know, overthinking everything. So I feel like this is all just a process. This is all a journey because how I'm starting now is not how I'm going to end. And of course, there will be some things I will change along the way. How I'm going to do my setup when I'm trying to, you know, get it to do it. Um, my content may start to be a little bit more deeper and more open. So this is just a journey. So I don't think it's just one way to succeed in content creation. I don't think it's just one way where you have to follow this formula and you have to do these things. Now, granted, it is some things that you do need to do to try to keep, you know, your audience attention. I do believe there are a couple of things that you can do, tweaks that you can make, but it's not guaranteed that all that will work. 
So we all know that. Some of us know that it's not guaranteed. So you have to just put your best into it. And one thing I just want to note is that someone had made like a very interesting comment about making content online. And the person who was doing a video was talking about how she wanted to do her own thing. She didn't want to just do what everybody else was doing. She wanted to feel comfortable and make the content that she loved. And she said she's okay if she don't get a lot of subscribers or views. And because, you know, this is the content that she wanted to make. Because she said she knows that coming in. Let me rephrase that. She knows that coming in that doing the type of content that she does that may not get a lot of views or subscribers. But she's creating a community. And I love that she said that. And for the person to comment, um, had backed that up by saying that if you just keep at it, you know, the YouTube algorithm, whatever, you know, that goes on with that, that it will soon catch up. It will soon learn about that. Everybody don't have to do just this one thing to make it. They can do a lot of different things. Um, they just have to learn how to go with the flow. So the algorithm, it has to learn how to go with the flow. I don't think I'm saying that right, but hey, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but I love that she said that and I love what the person commented because I think sometimes we just believe that if it doesn't go that way or it doesn't go a certain way that we just going to fail or if our mind is not wired to just think that oh, I got to do this one thing, I got to do it like this and that. No, I just feel like we all should just try if you want to get a content creation and just put it out there. Just put it out there and see how it goes. Learn different tactics, learn different ways, get some wisdom on how your gift can move out here and how you can do certain things because my goal is just stand out that's what it is and the best way to stand out is just being who i am and just talking about things i like to talk about i know i'm not everybody's cup of tea and that's a good thing and i don't think we should go into a situation thinking that everybody should love what we do because it's just not feasible like that because we have different personalities, different interests, different goals, different aspirations. But I want to focus on the people that really do love what I do. I want to focus on building that community around the purpose of this channel and not try to get into this thing of everybody has to like everything. If I get a negative comment, it's all over. Or if I don't get any views on this, it's all over. That's not the mindset I want to have because I want to keep doing what I'm doing and I want to love what I'm doing because believe it or not, the more I keep creating this content, it does something in me. Like it does help me to do better in certain areas. It encourages me. It changes me in different ways. And I feel like the more I do it, I'm going to transform into something, you know, even more, more beautiful as far as my, my personality, how I do things. And just my overall life. Because I know this is a connection that I have with the content I make. And I want to make sure that it always remain like that.